everyone. Welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. It's certainly warmer today than it was when I made a video earlier this week, but I'm still using the Happy Tails and I'm going to use it with the rectangle stitched framelits. And I've only just ordered these. You can see this is the first time I've used them because I don't usually keep them in these envelopes or on this sort of card. I either put my framelits inside with my stamps, sort of like this, on a magnet sheet, or I keep them in my big box that I have magnet sheets in, like the art bin box. So this had just arrived yesterday and I thought it was time to play with it. And I knew I had to do another video with Happy Tales, so I thought I'd combine the two. And today's card, is a template that I've used before with you. It's one of my favorite templates. And it's one of those that you can use different DSPs, you can use a different sentiment, and it gives a, a, a great look every time you use it. So I've started with my ordinary piece of DS, uh, not DSP, of card, and I've used soft suede, and it's cut at five and a half, by eight and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter and I've cut two um, very vanilla pieces and they are four by five and a quarter and there's one for the front and one for the back and I'm going to start by attaching the one for the front so, I think I last used this template and showed you on a Christmas card but it's one of the early templates that I have on my blog um, with all the measurements, one of the very first videos I put up because I just love it. It, it works for me every single time. It doesn't matter whether it's a, a get well card, a birthday card, anniversary. It's just one of those templates that you fall back to every time. And usually I cut the paper and the card that goes on it, but I thought I'd use my framelits. So I've made my largest piece, the third framelit, third from the outside. So that's this. And you, you can probably see they've got a double row of stitching, but one row comes out on the piece that you're cutting and one piece where you've cut it from. So you could then cut and make a, a window frame if you wanted, um, but I, I don't need that today. So I've cut that with the third piece. And then I've cut a narrower piece and I use the largest of the narrow rectangles. See, these are sort of wider rectangles. These are narrower ones. And I've cut that with the third piece. And then for the DSP, I've chosen the wood textures paper because I'm making a masculine card. And I looked through and tried to find colors that would complement the soft suede, but not be too dark. The first one I cut out was this, and ooh, it made the card ever so dark and I didn't want it like that. It wasn't a cheery kind of card at all. So, what I did was I then took the fourth, because I'd cut it the, um, the layer with the third, I took the fourth one and cut DSP and I cut the little logs. So I know that they're going to be a perfect match with each other because stamping up, I've already done all the measuring and all this sorting out. I don't have to measure on my trimmer, I just have to choose the next framelit down. So I've got that one. And then for this one, I, this was the largest of the narrow and the DSP was the next one down. And this one I've already attached. I haven't attached this piece yet. Okay. And just make sure you've got the same border all the way around. Okay, now I'm going to start and attach these. And do you remember which card it is now? Which template? It's the one where we have a piece here and another piece just off to the left. 
and then I usually put a little ribbon or a bow on this. Uh, let's do that. Oh, oh, fast fuse was having a funny turn then. I think it's the end of the row. Uh, and I think I've only got just less than a dozen left. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's stick it on with Tombow instead. And I usually measure it so that it's roughly top and bottom the same and about a quarter of an inch in from this side because I like it to be even in these um, steps here. And that way, you know, it pleases my eye because I know that all of those are the same width. Now, on this piece, I usually put a ribbon and I've chosen two ribbons today. I didn't know which one I was going to use. I've got a little piece of crushed curry that I had left from when we made the Broadway bound cards and I've got some of this um, some of the copper ribbon it's the one that opens up and you can you know splay out the edges make it much wider and then if you don't like it just pull it back how it should be and I'm not sure that that's going to show up enough I think I need I think I need this one that's a bit brighter use whatever color ribbon you've got I'm not going to tie a bow because it's for a man. So I'm just only going to tie a rough knot, like a, a double overhand knot. And I don't want it so that my knot lays flat on the top here. Sometimes I make it so that I have a square knot and this lies flat, but I want a little bit of texture. I'm going to just move that down the card piece and I'll find my scissors and I'm going to just trim that. Oops. Make sure it's level. There. It's, it only needs to be a masculine knot. I could have used something like my linen thread and done two or three wraps round and that would have looked nice as well. So it don't matter. It doesn't matter if you haven't got the same ribbons. I shouldn't really have this one because it's retired. I just had a bit of it left. Now this one we're going to put onto dimensionals but we're only going to put the dimensionals down this piece. So let me see where I've hidden them. And I think I might put just sort of three or four to keep it on. I don't want it on top of the other pieces of card on, on here. Just want it to be at the edge. There we go. Let's get rid of those. And then I'm just going to make it so that it's a quarter of an inch at that side. And it's, you, know, you see a little bit DSP here, a little bit DSP there, and you know that you're in the right place. Okay, now time for my sentiment. I chose Friends Forever from this set. And what I did was I stamped it on a, just a piece of the very vanilla and then I use this one to cut it out with. Because that was just the right size for me. But I wanted to have a border around it. And of course, there isn't one that matches this. So what I did was I took the biggest one of the narrow rectangles and with my, um, let me just get these, this is the one I actually cut for this. So I put this onto a piece of the soft suede, which I cut out with this biggest rectangle. Now I know it's too big. So I held it there. And let me just move these out of the way and I'll show you what I did on the big shot. So I hope you can see that. I held it just about where I wanted it to be, 
to be to give it just the right border. I'm actually just going to turn it on a, a slight angle because when the framelits go through, they like to have just a little piece going through um, to start with. Okay, so I know that that measures up exactly on that brown piece, except for I had it upside down. That's why I couldn't see it very well. Okay, and what I did was I chose where I wanted my brown layer to end. And I just held onto that there. You could put a piece of washi tape over if that worked for you. But what I did, I just lined up the framelit on top of the little, these little lines, like little stitch lines that have already been done. I took that off. And then I put the top on and I sent it through the big shop. And I waited till it had only just gone over the first edge of the framelit. I didn't go any further down. So then when I come back, you can take this piece off and you'll see that you've got the same exact stitching that goes down this right hand side as well. And that's the best way that I could find to do it. So if that's a little tip that you can use, I hope it helps and I hope it works for you. This piece, throw away. Okay. So now we know that this is going to fit beautifully in there. I'm going to just put it in. And you can do that you know, with any length of sentiment that you wanted. Because... You know, you just choose which of your framelits you need. You cut out where your sentiment is and then you'll have your piece like this. You just allocate how much of the card you need. If you know a better way to do it, let me know. <laughs> I'm always up for learning new tricks, but... Uh, this worked pretty well for me, I thought. Okay, now this one is going to go on here. And on this, I'm only going to put um, stamping dimensionals at this side because this is already raised up. So I'm going to put stamping dimensionals there and a little row of um, Tombow on this side. So at the right hand side, it will have its dimensionals. And at the left hand side, it'll just have a little bit of blue. And that way, all the layers are even. There's nothing um, trying to be a bit higher than anything else. Okay. So, and I'm just going to pop this a little roughly in the middle. There we go. Make sure they're down. And then hold the glue for a sec. There we go. So that's the front of my card. Now, on the inside, the other piece of very vanilla that we cut, I stamped the dog. I did him in early espresso and then I used soft suede for his little um, patches. You could put another sentiment in there if you wanted to. I don't want to because as you know, I, I like to do a lot of writing in my cards. And uh, so the more space I've got, the better. Occasionally I'll put a, a sentiment in, but I don't mind if there isn't one in. Okay, so then I'll just glue that down. And I did use the punch and cut out some more of these little red hearts. I wasn't sure if I might just give a little, little tiny blob of colour like this and one on the inside. Let's have a look what it looks like. I can always take them off if we don't like them. No, I quite like that. It's just a, another little pop of colour. We'll put one on the inside with the dog. I'm going to put his over there. And there we go. So that's the second of my Happy Tales cards. 
and using the rectangle stitched framelits as well. Let's pop that one on the top. So I hope you liked that card. If you want measurements for the card and the DSP on this card without using the framelits, look back at some of my other videos, some of the very first ones, and you'll see a Christmassy kind of card. And um, I think it says comf tidings of comfort and joy on the front, and that will give you the exact measurements. If you can't find it, drop me a note and I'll uh, write the measurements out for you. So thanks very much indeed for watching everybody. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.